Getting stung by a stingray is rare, but I can tell you at Daytona Beach it happened twice on Sunday within 30 minutes. It's for me, it's a real surprise because uh, most of the time on the beach, we're scared about sharks. Beachgoers were shocked to hear about two people being stung by stingrays over the weekend at Daytona Beach. It's not too often, so it was kind of a little unusual that happened within 30 minutes of each other. Both people stung while in ankle deep water. They may have been attracted to this shallow area uh, where humans and stingrays interact because of because of a prey source. And it's probably a, a coincidence that they were so close together. We visited Chad McPhee at the Volusia County Marine Science Center to get a closer look at the type of stingray that most likely stung these two beachgoers and learn what to do if you're ever stung by one of the marine creatures. And yes, you, you could have an allergic reaction as well, and it's very, very, very painful. One of the ways that you can break down that venom to make it less painful is to put as hot as water as you can on to the wound. Beach safety tells us it's so important that you remember to check in with staff at lifeguard towers before you get into the water to see if there are any hazardous warnings. As for keeping yourself safe while you're in the water, McPhee suggests a technique to keep the stingrays at bay. One of the things we teach at the Marine Science Center is called the stingray shuffle. And that's to that's to rub your feet when you walk through the sand to kind of to kind of instead of taking steps to kind of push your feet through the, through the sand and that will will scare the stingrays before you step directly on them. Neither of the two people injured said that they saw anything in the water at the time of their incidents, but they both complained of pain shooting up their legs. Both of them were taken to Halifax Hospital. Reporting from Daytona Beach, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News.